Today we're going to take a look at using the other mail and see if we can etch on the back of an iPhone. So we had this basic idea, we kind of, we haven't seen other people do it with the other mill. We've seen a bunch of people on YouTube do it with a laser engraver, but uh, we kind of haven't seen it done with a CNC mill. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. First thing I need to do is sort of measure this up using some digital calipers. We're gonna input that into other planner and then we're gonna use this engraving bit that I just got from other mill, other machine, sorry. And we're gonna see if this works. I don't know if it's gonna work, so uh, let's, let's find out. All right, so this is it all set up. I have uh, selected anodized aluminum and I set a custom size with all the measurements we just got. So the next thing we need to do now is to just get uh, a design. So I'm thinking what we're gonna do is use Sparky, the blue smoke monster. Y'all probably know about Sparky. He's a little, little noid of electronics. And the first thing you need to do is sort of make him into a, um, into a vector graphic. So what I'll do is I'll trace him out in, uh, in Photoshop and I'll bring him into Illustrator and then I will make it into SVG. It comes in a little big so the cool thing is inside of um, other planner you can rotate it if you want and you can also change the scale and then I like this feature here where it says align to material you can set it to the center of the material because if you look at the iPhone there's like a little bit of room here in the center here. Actually, that's where all the space is because you got the Apple logo here and then all this text and stuff. So we're gonna try to do it in the center here and hopefully that works out. So um, that's gonna be it right there. I think 0.6 of a scale looks fine. And for the actual uh, bit, we're not gonna use any of the flat ends. We're gonna use an engraving tool. So I'll, I'll cut out of that. And then other mail will figure out which uh, well, the, all the tool paths for it. And we're not gonna do a cutout, so I'll deselect cutout and just do the engraving. And then we can do all the little eyes and stuff and all the extra details. So I think that'll look pretty cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, put some tape, some double stick tape on this guy. And uh, this is sort of a broken iPhone. So you can see we got a cracked screen there just cause you know, we don't wanna mess up our, <laughs> it's a good test. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe do the three, I guess three will do it. All right, let's put this on the other mill. Okay, I already hit the load button, so the spoiler plate is right there. And I gotta make sure that the orientation is set right, so it's gonna be that way. And you have to align it so that it's um, flush. And you have to align it on the lower left bottom corner here. So I'm gonna try to be as flush as I can. And then once I got it in a, whoop, once I get it in a good spot, I'm just gonna press it down. So I'm gonna change the bit. This is a uh, 0.7 millimeter end mill. This is my engraving bit. It comes with a little cover here. You can see it. See how it's like it's just a pointy tip. It's not like a flat end mill like this one. It's an engraving bit, so that's the difference there. All right, so I'm just gonna put that in there, see if it fits. Yeah, it fits. Oh, that's perfect, yeah. All right, I guess that'll work. I'll put it back in there. Okay. Now I'll hit uh, over here in the software. We'll hit continue, we remove the tool, and now I'm gonna hit unknown tool and change it to engraving tool. And it even looks like that too, so I'll hit okay. And what it'll do now is it's gonna home itself and then just do a double check to make sure that it's in the right spot. So it's like, okay, verify your tool position. Looks good, hit continue. And then it's gonna say, is that in the safe zone? And it's a little bit down, so I'm gonna bring it up a bit. Yeah, that looks good, and I'll hit locate. So now it's gonna go down, and then it'll keep going until it barely touches uh, the spoiler plate. So now it's located itself, and hopefully it doesn't crash into the iPhone. If it does, I'm gonna hit this big red button here. So we're pretty much ready to mill. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. Material's loaded, bit is loaded, SVG's loaded. I'm pretty scared. <laughs> you guys ready? Take this off the bed. 
red. And that was really easy to do. So there it is. And I should probably clean a little bit. It's pretty nice. Do I have like a brush? I actually would definitely do my iPhone. I would put my name on it, my Noah name. All right, so here it is, Sparky the Blue Monster. This thing came out pretty good. We're really surprised uh, how well this turned out. Using the engraving bit was definitely the way to go and making sure that we'd sort of eased our way into it incrementally really helped out so I didn't just drive into the, into the phone. So really cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, we'll check you guys out later. And let us know if you guys have any ideas. If you want to see us mill like on a block of cheese or something, let us know and we'll give it a shot. But yeah, there it is. There's Sparky, the blue monster, the blue smoke monster. Also, be sure to check out the other mill if you guys want to pick one up. It's in the Adafruit shop. And you can also get the engraver from the other machine company. So there you guys have it. Until next time, remember to keep on milling.